there's always something happening And it's usually quite loud Our mum, she's so house proud Nothing ever slows her down And a mess is not allowed I find it openings that people blathering on for hours, so I've specially arranged for three people to do this who are famous for not speaking very long, myself, John Butterley and Professor Macmillan, um, three of the shortest speakers in the world. I'm really going to limit myself to introducing uh, what people are doing and to thank a couple of people. Uh, particularly, uh, we're very pleased with the artworks which we, we have in the building and I would like to thank uh, the artists Gordon Burnett, Reinhard Behrens and Michaela Huber and you'll have a chance to have a, a better look at their, their work in a few minutes. Uh, I'd also like to thank the Glasgow District Council East End Management Committee who contributed part of the funding for the artworks as did the Scottish Housing Association Charitable Trust. So. Our thanks to them. Um, Scottish Homes also contributed something towards it, which is unusual for Scottish Homes, but uh, very gratefully received. I'm going to ask uh, Professor Andrew McMillan, uh, who some people may know as the Emeritus Professor of Architecture at uh, Glasgow University. Uh, I know him in his much more important role as a committee member of Wallandina Park Housing Association, which is another association that operates around here. Um, he's going to say a few words and then we thought it would be a nice touch to get a, a local pensioner to actually open the shelter housing. <laughs> so I asked, our, I asked our former chairman to organise a, a draw, all the names were in a hat, and it's a Mr. J. Butterley who came out, uh, which is not unusual because somebody from the Butterley family wins every competition in this area and has done for the last 20 years. So he will actually do the unveiling and, and name the building. So I think pass to Andy McMillan. Hello, thanks. John is actually the shortest speaker. <laughs> I, I think I've been chosen to speak today because actually I know the least about John. I haven't found him out yet. <laughs> and uh, probably because also as a professor I'm used to speaking, but, but not shortly. <laughs> I'm honoured to be asked to speak today because I think this project demonstrates, and since the project architect's one of my ex-students, I think the project demonstrates very clearly Reedvale's commitment not only to its local community, but to the idea of quality of life, to the idea of enriching rather than demeaning the environment, and the idea of making the most out of the least, which is always the budget you get to build projects like this. I think not only does this project cater for the special needs of those in sheltered housing, but it shows concern for the context, for the place, as most of Reedville's work does. It strengthens the community rather than weakens it. And this particular project relates in style and in materials to its big brother block, which has become so famous as the best <coughs> housing association, or it was the best housing association building in Glasgow. It provides not only individual units, but communal spaces and communal accommodation like the hall. And it incorporates not only nice community facilities, but as Rob has already mentioned, it, em it embraces the work of artists to enrich it and enhance it. It's very nicely landscaped, inside and out. It's got a conservatory, as you'll see when you get in. And the artists work, well, the clock up above is by, uh, I have to find his name, Gordon Bennett from Aberdeen. And not only <coughs> Burnett, oh, I've got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read my own writing. My secretary's in holiday and she couldn't type it. But the clock is not only a nice thing in itself, a bit of abstract art, but it incorporates bits of marble which were gifted to the project by the old Glasgow firm at Toffolo Jackson. Through Mr. Lane. And the same firm gave the nice terrazzo tiles you see, which <coughs> make a pattern, but also there's a wee bit of history here in that an old Glasgow firm has its own memorial in this place. 
Above you see the etched glass panels. Now I'll try and get this one right. <laughs> By Reinhard Bertens, uh, with the, the symbols in the glass, some of which are found in other bits of glass round the side. And inside in the hall, you'll find a bust of the artist's wife up in a pedestal, which is put there uh, by an arrangement with the Open Museum Service. Uh, the sculptor's name was Park. I think he was from Glasgow. Anyway, there you are, another wee bit of local history. And finally, in the garden, you'll find some wonderful, wonderful furniture by, and I have to find her name as well, Michaela, Michaela Huber. Uh, the bit I like best, which I think John is going to demonstrate how it works, is the love seat. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I find the place to finish? So, I think this sheltered housing can be seen as a special place, which is also full of places made special by things that are put in it. Not just a series of banal spaces, but once you've been in it and seen it, you'll always remember it, you'll know where you are. And I think that's very important, and we should thank the architects, the Murray Design Group, and their job architect, Peter Welsh. Thank you. Uh, just a couple of people I forgot to thank now that uh, see Douglas Kirkwood has turned up. I better thank Dickie the Builders. Uh, the project has not actually reached its completion date yet, and we really do have to thank them and uh, and the Clark of Works for getting it ready today. It's, it's ahead of its completion date, but this was the day that suited us, and they've really bent over backwards to, to put it in the condition it's in for today. And the other one, of course, is the one that Andy mentioned, the Open Museum. This, this hopefully is of interest to other associations. Glasgow City Council Museums Department run this project called Open Museum, the Open Museum, where works of art which are in store and are not liable to go on public exhibition are available free of charge to people building houses or other buildings. And these works of art can be given on permanent loan to the building by the City Council and are insured by the City Council. So you can actually get works of art from the past into your buildings uh, at no cost to the association, so it's something that you maybe want to take up. The guy's name is Nat Edwards, and if anybody wants his phone number, I can give you it. But it's a really good initiative that is not many people know, about, unfortunately. Right, which brings us to uh, the highlight of the day. My former chairman, Mr. Butterley, we've asked him along here to say a few words and uh, unveil the, the, the plaque here naming the building. Thank you. John. Well, first of all, I would just like to thank everybody for turning up. It's strange that we end up in this corner here at UBL because this is where we started. Strangely enough, the architect had done the job. We felt so very sorry for him about 15 or 16 years ago. He had me an office. So I think we helped Murray out that time. We gave him the first small house that we made at the top of the street. Secondly, our first project that ever went off in Reedvale was 193, just in the corner there. That was the first renovation that was done in this area. So we've actually done a first full circle, ended up more or less in the spot we started on. But again, I must thank the committee for giving me the honour of opening this place up. It's a big honour for to be able to do this, and I appreciate it a lot. Maybe. <coughs> It's about time I stood doing anyway because you just can't go in all the time. John Ferguson's trying it, but <laughs> he's, he's trying, the legs are starting to go now. But again, no much talking. I'm now in this, the Reedville House, and hope everybody that's in it have a lot of happiness. I didn't qualify myself, although I'm a pension, I put my name down, but I was too fit. But, uh, I just hope that everybody uh, comes through these doors, have a happy time and a comfortable time. Thanks very much.